posthumously award the Congressional Gold Medal to Constantino Brumidi and would authorize the striking of duplicate medals for sale to the public. To speak of those of us who work here in the Capitol, we are very fortunate to be surrounded by Constantino Brumidi's genius every day. Brumidi's awesome, inspiring murals and frescoes are remarkable as they are ubiquitous. Constantino Brumidi's works can be found in three Senate Appropriations Committee rooms, the House Appropriations Committee room, the Senate Democratic Policy Committee room, the Brumidi corridors, the Senate reception area, the office of the Vice President, and of course, the Rotunda. Like his masterful works throughout the Capitol, Constantino Brumidi's story is uniquely American. Brumidi was born in Rome in 1805 to an Italian mother and a Greek father. His artistic ability was cultivated at an early age. In his early years, he was commissioned to paint frescoes and murals in various Roman palaces. And then, in 1849, as did so many of our ancestors, Brumidi, who was already an established artist in Italy and who had spent three years working for Pope Gregory XVI in the Vatican, emigrated to the United States and began a new life in New York City. There he proudly became a naturalized American citizen in 1852. It was on a return trip from Mexico that Constantino Brumidi first saw the U.S. Capitol. It was a fortuitous twist of fate at a time when Congress and Franklin, President Franklin Pierce were preparing to expand the Capitol, a world-class Italian-American artist who just happened to be passing through Washington, inspired by both the freedoms and liberties represented by the seat of Congress and the vast open spaces in the Capitol that seemed to in girls, offered his services to Quartermaster General Montgomery C. Meigs. Wisely, Meigs commissioned Brumidi to become the artist of the Capitol. Brumidi's first work was in the Agriculture Committee Room. This masterpiece received such favorable attention that he was given a raise and tasked with painting other larger works culminating with his work in the Capitol Rotunda. There is no work in the Capitol more impressive or more renowned than the apostasis of Washington. Remedi completed the fresco in 11 months at the end of the Civil War, soon after the new dome was completed. This absolutely stunning work soars 180 feet above the Rotunda floor. To compensate for the distance between the floor and the ceiling, Brumidi, who spent years mastering depth and scale, painted 15-foot-tall figures so that the work could be appreciated from the rotunda floor. Another Brumidi masterpiece, The Freeze of American History, appears just underneath the dome and spans the entire 360 degrees of the Capitol Rotunda. The frieze, which initially looks to be carved or sculpted, as all who view it believe it to be three-dimensional, was actually meticulously painted with the use of scaffolding. While Bermidi first sketched the design of the frieze in 1859, Congress did not authorize the work to begin on this piece until 18 years later in 1877. The work masterfully displays America's history, beginning with the landing of Columbus and continuing to the discovery of gold in California. While many visitors to the Capitol have seen Bermidi's genius in the frieze over the years, not many realized that he nearly lost his life while painting it. While working on a figure of William Penn, 76-year-old Brumidi fell from the scaffolding but saved himself by clinging to the rung of a ladder for 15 long minutes before he was rescued. While he subsequently ascended the scaffolding once more to continue his work, he died a few months later in 1880. It took two additional artists and 73 years to finish the masterpiece that Constantin Brumidi first began. Mr. Speaker, Constantino Brumidi's service to the Capitol and our country spanned the administration of six, six presidents, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Have, on and on, Brumidi worked. All of us here in the Capitol have the privilege of working in this living museum, as well as the millions of visitors that tour our building each year who admire and relish Brumidi's work but precious few know the story of the artist of the Capitol. In awarding, in addition to awarding Constantino Bermidi with the Congressional Gold Medal, 
S-254 directs the architect of the Capitol to display the gold medal as an exhibition in the new Capitol Visitor Center dedicated to Bermidi's life and work. I believe that such an exhibit is long past due and would be to the benefit of future generations of Americans who come to see the Capitol and admire the brilliant work of Constantino Bermidi, reminding us yet again that we are a nation built by immigrants. Mr. Speaker, Constantino Bermidi was a great son of Italy and a great American. His achievements are a great source of pride for Italo-Americans, and S-254 would bestow Bermidi and Italian-American community with the recognition the great artist ambition so rightlessly deserve. Special thanks are due to Representative Bill Pascrell from New Jersey, main sponsor of this bill that we have before us in the House today. And I'd like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of somebody who visits us here in the gallery today, Mr. Uh, Joseph Grano, who is the president of the Constantino Bermidi Society for his long and tireless efforts on this behalf. Mr. Speaker, this is a great day for those who love fine art, creativity, American history, and who appreciate the contributions of Italian-American immigrants and all immigrants to the culture and history of our country. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves. Gentlewoman from West Virginia. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of S-254, a bill to award a congressional gold medal honoring the great artistic work of Constantino Bermidi on this great Capitol building. The bill was introduced by Senator Enzi and has 99 co-sponsors uh, in the Senate. And in the House, a companion bill was introduced by our colleague, Mr. Pascrell, which has 307 co-sponsors. As we've heard much of Mr. Bermidi's history, he created artwork